some nice people inside and they inform me that the owner of the bee farm isn't here right now but if I check back in an hour they should be back so let's see we'll come back in an hour and see you then all right thank you and then what is your name sir Fred. Fred nice to meet you I'm Kevin ah okay so we have one beehive here and the other ones are in the bundle. Oh, okay. Wow. And it's okay if I film okay, this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Do we know how many bees live in this hive? That I don't, I don't, like that thousands, that. right? No, more than. <laughs> more than several yeah. thousand. Wow. And they're producing. There are two kinds of honeybees we have. The stingless bee. This one is with sting. Mm -hmm. and the stingless bee is this one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Oh wow! Oh, it's it's living na like naturally inside the tree. That's what it likes, right? They're very small. Wow! Wait a minute. I've heard of regular honeybees that sting, but stingless bees? What in the world? Stingless bees, or Tetragonula species, are natively called the kiwot. They're about the size of an ant have all the features of honeybees, but they don't have a stinger. Just look at the size of a kiwot compared to a regular Philippine honeybee. I can see now why people confuse them for a flying ant or other bug. They typically make their colonies in old bamboo and are frequently found around bamboo or wooden structures. They can fly up to a kilometer away from their colony and they love flowers. They also make honey which apparently is really healthy for you. So cool. Man, I didn't even know those were bees. They're so small, they look like little flies. That's amazing, these are bees. The Philippines has many species of this bee and in some regions, they're now the key remaining pollinator for agriculture. In addition to native honeybees, stingless bees need to be appreciated and encouraged too. So if you come across any of these bees in nature, please be nice to them. And they don't even make any noise. They don't make any, uh... You know, buzzing. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, oh, uh, there's an, there's no name here. Walang pangalan. Oh, it's on the back. <laughs> okay. Ah, see Rico. Okay. So I'll look for Rico, and then message him. Okay. Well, the main uh, farm is in Batangas. Oh, Batangas. Batangas. Oh, wow. So it's not even here in like Dumaguete area. Because he is from Dumaguete. Yeah. And he, he got married to a Batanginya. Oh. So that's why he started. This farm, when he started at UP Los Banos, yeah, he started the development in Lipa Ah, okay. So I've actually grew up in Lipa City in, in 1980s. Yeah, ah. no bata ko. Yeah, that's why I speak some Tagalog. So I love Lipa, but unfortunately, it's too far for me to visit just ah. for one video. But you don't have any other bees here in the mountains. I do. I don't have. Ah, do okay. Well, at least you have these bees here. You have a small amount. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you, uh, Fred. It was Fred. Yes. Thank you for yes. talking with me. And yeah, and I'll contact Rico. And then maybe if I'm in Batangas again, I can go visit. Because there's a lot of things I want to see in Batangas, like the balisong, um, where they make the balisongs like that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, there we go. Not as many bees as we might expect, but there are some bees here, thousands. And I think I learned a little bit about them, the different varieties.
Special thanks to Mr. Fred Omayon and BePhilippines.info for help making this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.